Hello ladies and gentlemen and this is going to be uh, an announcement that I'm gonna need everyone to watch and if you do watch it please make sure to share um, this video because um, it's kind of important and it's basically the future of Dawnhaven so um a while ago I started a Kickstarter for Dawnhaven which apparently did not do well as I only had three backers but I still received them um, I guess a decent amount of money to help me get started but of course I was not able to claim it because my funding was unsuccessful so what I want to do is basically uh, start my own um, basically fundraising for um, Dawnhaven and the money coming out from it is basically going to be put into the game which I'm eventually gonna release as a free game for everybody to play um, and if I do decide to charge, it's not going to be more than $1. Um, so basically, um, the money will be used for um, getting um, get, um, get scripters who will basically um, do some advanced scripts that I have like in place. But um, I can't like, I actually haven't found anyone to do the scripts for me because apparently it's either a waste of their time or... Um, they have something else better to do and I have done some requests on the forums and stuff like that But no one happens to be taking it. So I'm guessing if I decide to pay um, I will have more chances of Gaining a scripter and also um, there's some other minor stuff um, That I want to raise money for to again help the for the game um, A full detail will be going up soon um, so basically what I'm trying to do is if there's two ways I'm trying to raise money one is um, donation from you guys who want to see the game succeed and stuff like that the other way is by giving you guys services so um, so let's go ahead and talk about um, raising money by funding um, by the donation of funding so I'm gonna use the same model as I did for my Kickstarter so basically what I'm going to what I'm going to do is if you um, pledge five dollars or more and I'm, it's going to be funded through PayPal. So I'm going to be putting my email address for my PayPal in the description down below and you could fund and then you just leave your um, information on the um, description of the transaction. And then I will basically get to you when um, the rewards are ready and stuff like that. So if you pledge five dollars or more. Um, you will gain early access to the game. So what does that mean? It's when I release the beta in one or two months, I guess. That's what that's the opening that I have from releasing the beta. One or two months. Um, you will gain early access to that, and then when the game officially comes out, you will. If I do decide to charge, you will get you will get the game for free, and you will get it a week before I actually release the actual game. So. Um, that's if you pledge five dollars or more now if you pledge oh again don't worry about the limited offers this is open to as many people as um, can pledge so I'm not limiting it like um, Kickstarter um, did so if you pledge ten dollars or more and you will gain early access to the game as before and also you will get a Kickstarter back again which is gonna be um, an exclusive gear in game that no one else but people who actually um help fund the game will get and it will basically um help you through the game um the early stages of the game plus it's a pretty cool gear um for you to wear and it's gonna have custom um out so you'll be able to see the visible gear and I, i'm also gonna include the helmet you could also like see the visible helmet when you put it on unlike the other armors in the game where the helmets aren't actually visible um if you pledge $25 or more um you will gain early access to the game the kickstarter back again and i will dedicate one npc to you so what does that mean the npc dedication that means um i will put an npc in the world wherever you want them to be um whatever you want them to say um and for right now i'm not taking quest requests so but in the future i do plan on making npcs dedicated to you guys that you could like give um the player a quest um so yeah that's the npc dedication so you will gain everything i'm above and the npc dedication and again it's open to as many people as possible not on um, the limit of 25. so that's the first way that i'm trying to raise money um through donations from you guys so the second way i'm trying to raise money is basically um offering you guys services 
so what do i mean by services well i can make maps for you guys right now um i'm what i want to do is um every, like i will make maps for you as long as is any map that you want that's below 100 by 100 i will make it for you for five dollars and anything above um 100 by 100 every 25 it goes above 100 by 100 i'll, I'll add an extra two dollars to it so five dollars for any map that's below 100 by 100 and two dollars for every 25 it goes over 100 by 100 so that means if your map is 125 by 100 that's an extra two dollars if it's 125 by 125 that's an extra four dollars so basically stuff like that um events i can make event systems for you guys that's why i have all these other games opened so um an example for the event systems that i've made in the past um so for Dawnhaven, which if you guys have been following you should already know how i did this system but this isn't um if you want me to replicate the systems that i did in Dawnhaven for you guys and put and send them to you i would do that but this is for any event system that you could think of i would try my best to um make it work for you so um so example of my work um based on event system is my guard chase so making a guard chase system like in skyrim where if you commit a crime the guards will chase you and stuff like that and you could go to jail and pay for your time uh, and pay for your time as other stuff like that um the transmute um it's an event system it's a minor one basically if you have an iron in your um, inventory and you use the spell it basically turns that iron into a random material that's higher of a higher quality than iron equilibrium again it's a smaller um, event system basically um taking your hp and converting it into um mp mm-hmm that's some other event system like hp regain which um in the game unless you have like an actual um item that does it for you it doesn't actually um like your hp won't regain um i also have this vampire system so you'll be able to be, become a vampire and also werewolves it's actually over here vampires and werewolves so you could be a vampire and you could be a werewolf and that's a vampire you could turn into a bat you get hurt by sunlight and stuff like that and then so werewolf you can turn into a wolf and some other stuff like that i would hate to say the same thing again i'm hp pop system um notification so notifications is basically like if your hp is low um a voice basically comes in and tells you that your hp is low if your man is low and if you level up and some basically um audio notifications to help you like know when things are happening and some other stuff like that and also my radiant quest which basically just generates um an infinite amount an infinite number of quests which is still a work in progress right now but it's actually at a pretty good stage um some more um events is none that i have from don hate i mean from life in many town which i'm going to be doing a play i'm going to be doing a let's play for this game i haven't played it in a long time and i've forgotten like almost everything i've done in it so it will probably be like me um it will be a fresh start for me in the game okay let's go to red light district so red light district so um an example is that i have over here is um, I have this like it's kind of like a horse race so these three things will basically randomly move and um, basically the first one to reach this um, the finish line wins the race and you bet on which one um, wins and it's basically like a random verb oh let me not tell you how I did it but you know I do have a video where I show you how I did it but you know hey so it's basically a race um, they move randomly until one of them reaches there and it can never be a tie actually yeah it could be a tie wait no nope, it can never be a tie but you get it it's like a horse race thing you bet on them and they race for you um hmm. um in the arcade i have this um okay it's over here off world Many town of world. Okay, 
um, I have this Pac-Man system that I've uh, I made a long, long time ago, and I remade it for this game to make it a little bit more complicated, and some other stuff like that. Um, also, um, police chases is different, um, different from that, and this is like when you um choose to be in the race, it will basically teleport you to this map right here, and I don't actually think it will work if I just go in. Would it work? So, uh, I actually didn't bet, but this is basically what the race will be like. And any of them could be a winner. It looks like, oop, nope, Racer 1-1. One, one. I thought it was going to be Racer 3, but Racer 1-1. One, one. And since I didn't actually bet, it said I lost for some reason. So, that's some of the event systems that I, um, I have made in the past. And again, I can make any event system that you want. And we've covered maps and events. Let's cover signatures. So I could make signatures for you guys, um, for your game or for your for um, personal use and stuff like that. Um, example of signatures that I've made in the past. Not this. Not this. Um, also, while while we're talking about signatures, let's also talk about user bars because they're kind of the same thing. So again, signatures and user bars. Um, I can make for you. Um, I'm gonna show you examples of both of my user bars and signatures. Um, this is my photo buckets. I also have some on um Image Shack, but let's just use the ones on photo bucket bucket because they're my more recent ones. Uh, when I say recent, I mean like two years old. I don't even know though um how old these are. I haven't made signatures in a while. So um these are some examples these ones kind of suck kind of suck this one's pretty cool um different variations of it this one's pretty cool too this one's okay i don't know so i'm just gonna go through these real quick and i have gotten significantly better since these were made so yeah signatures for your game or for your personal use Oops, meant to go forward. This was not a signature, but it was, um, I think this was a wallpaper that I made for someone. And that's it for that. What else? And I can also make logos for your games and stuff like that. Um, I actually don't have any examples of my logos, but um, I, I don't know. I think they're in my um, image Im image check. But anyways, that's how I'm trying to raise money for Dornhaven. Please share this video. Um, if you know anyone who would um donate, please share the video to them and give them my email address. Um, again, Dornhaven could be a very, very, very could be the best. In my opinion, the best project made with RPG Maker vs Ace. Um. So, anyways, help me. Um. Help me. Um. Help me help you finish the game. And also, um. Again, my series is still going. Um. Let's make an open world RPG, Dawn Haven. I'm planning on starting Dawn Haven right after, um. I finish this special task. Um dungeon town game that i'm making so once this is done uh, which um i haven't been working on it because i've been um i had finals actually i still have finals but i just had a whole bunch of homework um that i had needed to do um plus i have finals next week and i started um actually this week not next week next week i don't have school anymore um so i have finals this week so um by the by the start of next week i should start working on dawn haven again because this game will be done right now it's at like 50 ish something percent so anyways please share this video with as many people as you can um let's raise money for dawn haven right now um my goal is to reach two thousand dollars in five months so um you might say it's a, um, a bit much but it's really not because i have to pay these people making scripts for me and i also have to gain some other um, resources and um yeah and that's some other stuff that I cannot for the life of me remember right now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to stay tuned for the Dungeon Town finale, which will be coming up um, by the end of this week. And I'm also going to be putting the game up. You could play it for free. 
um, I usually don't like charging for my games because I like to get it um, to the hands of as many people as possible. Um, also, what else? Yeah, um, Don't Haven starting again next week. I took a little break plus I was on vacation for like three months. Um, yeah. Um, what else? That would be it. Um, just help me raise the money for Don Haven, and um, yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Peace.